Welcome to Do It Yourself E-Liquid Recipes. I'm John, I'm a flavor compounder, and today I will give you very quickly some useful information about acetone used as a butter flavor, if it's dangerous about your health, and why some people say when vaped it might give you popcorn lungs. So acetone is a very commonly used ingredient in the food industry, and it is one of the two main molecules that gives melted butter its well-known taste and smell. As it is a carbon molecule, it is almost colorless and used in variety of products like margarine, yogurt, popcorn, breakfast syrup, and even in cereals. But the main reason people are afraid of it is because they say, well, it might be safe to eat, but you guys are vaping this. Well, this is true, but usually acetone is present only in few type of e-liquids, like pastry type of e-liquids, and present at a level of usually 0.5% or less of the total volume of the e-liquid. So yes, most likely if you vape a 100% acetone solution, it might be an issue, but it is not in these low used ratios. Now companies, at least here in North America, have to report on the label when a product contains 1% or more of acetone. So if you are sensitive to it or just want to avoid acetone by option, look for V2 or version 2 of flavors that only use natural or tested alternatives for the butter flavor. Now about the concern for popcorn lung, I will have to say it is mainly a myth and it doesn't have to do with acetone specifically, but more with diacetyl. It is reported that people who were breathing high concentrations of, of diacetyl for 40 hour periods per week had developed symptoms of a severe lung disease. The only similarity about diacetyl and acetone is that they are both diketones and this is the connection usually people make for both. But about acetone specifically, there is no approved scientific study, at least not yet, that approves or disapproves the safety of it. Personally, I use it a lot, mainly in my custards or when I'm trying to make a donut or waffle recipe, but I keep it at very low concentrations per volume, usually in my mixes, pure acetone is about 0.1% of the total mix, so I don't really worry about it. Now how you should use it in your mixes is you can buy pure butter flavoring to use that is usually mixed in propylene glycol, but every brand is different, so experiment with the ratios first. Or you can go and get a butter flavor solution like golden butter from Capella and only use 1% in most recipes and not have to worry about finding the right ratio. Again, this is a very important ingredient and I would say it might be one of my favorite flavor enhancers and it doesn't deserve the bad reputation it is getting from the media. Now let me know what you think about acetone and if you don't like using it, I would like to hear your opinion about it as well. I hope this information helped you in some way, that's all I have for this ingredient as of now, so see you next time.